Hey guys, what's going on? Watch for you here. Today in this video, we are going to be talking about the differences between quartz and mechanical watch movements. Let's get into the video. A watch movement, also known as a calibri, is the engine of a watch that acts as the powerhouse to make the watch and its functions work. This internal mechanism inside the timepiece moves the hands and powers any complications such as a chronograph, annual calendar, or a dual time zone. Driving all of the timekeeping functions, the movement is the essential component in a watch. There are countless different movements that are created by watch manufacturers using proprietary innovations, but each of these movements will fall into one of the two categories, quartz or mechanical. A quartz watch uses a battery as its primary power source and is typically the type of movement that you'll find in your standard, non-embellished watch. To create power in a quartz watch movement, a battery sends an electrical current through a small quartz crystal, electrifying the crystal to create vibrations. These vibrations keep the movement oscillating and drive the motor to move the watch hands. Quartz movements are very accurate and require minimal maintenance, aside from battery replacements. They tend to be low cost since they are battery powered and have few moving parts. Quartz watches aren't as desirable to most watch enthusiasts because they lack the technical craftsmanship and engineering that mechanical timepieces have. But with that being said, it doesn't mean you can't find a affordable mechanical movement watch. This example in my video, the Seiko SNZG11, can be found for around $120. Although the general design of mechanical watches hasn't changed too much in centuries, technology has allowed for more precise engineering and a greater array of convoluted complications. Now there are two types of mechanical movements found in timepieces today. Manual and automatic, each with unique characteristics. Considered to be the most traditional movement, manual movements are the oldest type of watch movement. Manual wind watches that we carry are often loved for their beautiful display of the watch movement, which can usually be seen through the case back. These movements are often referred to as hand wound movements because they have to be manually hand wound to create energy in the watch's mainspring. The wearer must turn the crown multiple times to wind the mainspring and store potential energy. The mainspring will unwind slowly and release energy through a series of gears and springs that regulate the release of energy. Now, winding intervals vary. Some watches you must wind them every 24 hours, in others it can be days until you have to wind them again. For example, the Panerai Luminator 1950 GTM, which has an 8 day power reserve. Now the second form of mechanical movements are automatic, often referred to as self-winding. Automatic movements harness energy through the natural motion of the wearer's wrist. Watches with automatic movements are popular because the wearer doesn't have to worry about winding the watch. Of course, as long as the watch is worn regularly, it will maintain power without requiring winding. Automatic movement works predominantly the same manual movements do. With the addition of a metal weight called the rotor, the rotor is connected to the movement and it can rotate freely. With each movement of the wrist, the rotor spins, transferring energy and automatically winding the mainspring. Watches featuring an automatic movement will still require winding, but dramatically less than a manual watch. If the watch is worn every day, it will maintain timekeeping functions without winding, but if the watch hasn't been worn for an extended period of time, it will need a quick wind to garner initial power. A alternative to hand winding automatic watches is to use a watch winder, and this will keep the watch fully wound when it's not being worn. An easy way to differentiate a quartz from a mechanical movement is by looking at the second hand. On a quartz watch, the second's hand will have a tick motion that moves once per second, while on the other hand, mechanical watches have a smooth, sweeping second's hand. Whether you pick up a quartz or mechanical movement watch, be sure to check out my channel for watch reviews. And also, please hit that subscribe button if you would like to help out the channel.